Well, good morning YouTube. Today I'm going to do something a little off the beaten path. I'm going to actually do a little video on vaping and I'm going to do some mechanic work on my avalanche. And what I got in store for you today is I'm going to take out the ABS brake module. I'm going to repair it. I have a check brake system light coming on and the ABS light. It's a little different but I'm still going to be vaping while I do the job. This, could, this video is actually going to be cut into a few sections, but I'll mend it all together. You know, like I said before, I never uh, edit my videos and stuff, but this is going to be a long video. So I'm not going to, I'm just going to skip through the boring parts and uh, show you everything that I do on this job. Anyways, let's go out to my truck and uh, show you what's going on, what we're going to do, and where the module is at. <clears throat> nice beautiful day out here in Sacramento, California. All right, this is the beast. Okay. And uh what we got is a check engine. I mean uh, the check brake system light coming on and the ABS light. Now there's an ABS module on this truck which uh is going to come off the ABS pumps. And then I'm going to open it up and do a repair in there. Now this module, if I was to replace this module, cost me about about $500. Okay, now I'm weaseling my way under the truck here, so bear with me. Okay, so what we got there, that's the ABS pump, and right on top of the pump is a module. Okay, where the plugs are going into so I am going to get under there I'm going to remove that module leaving the pump intact all the brake lines intact okay and then uh, I'll be back to finish up showing you how the repair is done okay we are now underneath the truck there's the ABS module okay now if you look here T there's a Torx there, torques there, and the two on the back side. Now I've seen some videos on YouTube where saying you gotta be very careful that you don't strip them. The easiest thing I found is I have Torx sockets. Okay, it's actually on a socket, a quarter inch drive. And uh, as long as you get the perfect size that fits in there nicely, you can crack these things loose. You just wanna make sure you're putting down pressure on there while you're cracking them loose okay all four screws now that's easy enough then you got four connectors here or three connectors pull that one down get yourself a small flat blade screwdriver to push this clip down this retaining clip right here once you push this retaining clip down you'll be able to loosen or unclip that plug okay it's kind of hard to do one-handed here okay my clip fell out typically it won't fall out but no big deal okay so we got that out now just a matter of pushing in this clip here and sliding it down let me see if I can get another set of hands not even on and you're warm okay now go ahead all right here we go got the module out of the truck real easy to take it out this is what she looks like. Now what I've seen on YouTube, okay, on these Kelsey Hayes modules, there's supposed to be some screws here, 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 and then two on the inside. This one doesn't have any of the screws. It's actually just RTV'd together. It's glued together on the top cap. So I'm going to take my chances on this. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and let's hope for the best. What I may end up doing is I may end up after I pull this cap off, make sure there's no circuit board or anything behind these holes, I may end up drilling these holes and tapping it into the top cover, okay, in order to, once I put the silicone uh, RTV gasket back in there to hold it together while it dries. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting this open. Okay. All right, so we got this module apart, okay, it took me a few passes to go around and cut it. 
okay it's, the top cover is just glued on now typically when these modules need repair it is one of these four screws that need to be resoldered and then these four right here which are the actual relay okay everything is looking good in my module I'm gonna go ahead and touch up these solder joints anyway just to be safe okay I'm gonna use a nice weller soldering iron let that thing heat up for a little bit you get it too high up but what I'm gonna do I'm actually looking at all the different solder joints make sure I don't see anything that's a cold looking solder joint and then I'm going to clean up all this RTV gasket that's on here. Clean it all up. Clean it off of here. And then I'm going to re-glue this back together. And like I said, I'm going to drill these and tap them. And I'm going to put my own screws in there just to hold it shut while I wait while the RTV dries. Okay, so soldering iron's already hot and ready to go. Always use a wet sponge to clean your tip. Nice and shiny tip there, and let's go ahead and start soldering these. Hands in the way. Now, when you're soldering, go. you always make sure that the iron gets your terminal hot. Let the terminal melt the solder for you. You don't use the iron to melt the solder. So on these modules, this is the most typical problem is the solder joints on the relay go bad. Get that nice and hot and let it flow. He's dying again. Go ahead and replace him if you need to. I'm just going to touch up some other joints just to make sure that they're good. Can never be too safe. So if this isn't the problem, if this doesn't fix my problem, then that tells me maybe I have a bad ABS pump. Hope not. If that's the case, 
Who needs ABS anyways? Just don't slam on your brakes in the rain. Just touch these up one more time. All right, that's it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and get this gasket cleaned off here and uh, be back. All right, everybody. I know it's a little bit later. Um, it's a little bit dark now since the last time you seen the video, but I uh, accomplished the job. I took the module out of the truck and then I you know, did the repairs, the solder joint repairs. Even though it didn't look like anything was broken, I still went ahead and touched them up. Okay, then being that there was no screws holding the module together, I you know, got the black RTV silicone and I you know, let it dry for a few hours, let it cure for a few hours. Then I went ahead and reassembled it on the truck. And then what I did, just because it's supposed to be 24 hours of cure time, which I need to drive my truck to work tomorrow. What I did after I assembled it, I just took a bunch of zip ties and tied it around, you know, just to make sure that that module top is still secured and fastened until the, the silicone is completely dry but i drove it around for a good i don't know 40 miles and check engine light or the the check brake system light is out i'm gonna go ahead and start the truck let's see the dash everything is good all right there we go all the sweep tests everything is good Brake light is on only because the emergency brake is lit. I'm gonna go ahead and release the emergency brake. It is gone. No more ABS problems. Works fabulous. Well, anybody, everybody, that's it for today. I appreciate you know taking the time to view my video. And as always, have a great day and vape on.